Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and welcome. I'm very pleased to be joined by Aachen van Ginkel. Aachen is the chairman of the Dutch Hydrogen and Fuel Cell Association and is going to be speaking at the up and coming World Electrolysis Congress, which is uh, happening 4th to the 7th of March um, in Dusseldorf. So, welcome, Aachen. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, as I mentioned, you're you're you're, you're the chairman of the of the Dutch um, Hydrogen Fuel Cell Association, and also um, also work within the industry as well for for Endres and Hauser. And um, obviously, the Holland has been a you know standout country, I guess, one of the key hydrogen countries, as it were, in in, in like the last sort of three or four years, certainly in in helping to drive um, what we've seen a, a wide body of, of regulation and and indeed a huge interest um, with projects slated uh, across. Um, different scales from from the smaller decentralized projects to the hydrogen valleys and now to some of the big ultra projects and to tap um see the, the power of the north sea so maybe you can give us your sort of big picture overview of, of how how you view um the development of the market in in the holland um and the netherlands and, and what, where we are right now at the moment yeah so we see a lot of developments going on um when you look at the uh, the Dutch government, it typically has an um, a map of where it wants to could be in 2030. And on the map, first step are of course uh, uh, increasing the efficiency for energy usage in public buildings, in um, in companies, etc. So it's really about energy measurements and steam. The second step will be to reduce the uh, the CO2 emissions. So there's a lot of carbon capture projects going on also of course carbon capture in hydrogen so making gray hydrogen blue hydrogen like the portals project and in future also Aramis. Mm -hmm. and what we see at the moment also is that uh, everybody is sort of getting ready to go into the uh, into the hydrogen future we expect that in a few years to, uh, a lot of subsidies will be given free and then the companies will get that and they can start investing so what we've been seeing in the Netherlands is that we have a huge uh, growth of hydrogen valleys. I think we now got four or five which are active. And we also have many smaller consortia where a lot of small, medium-sized enterprises are actually uh, getting involved with end users to try to develop that value chain. So to go from capturing, uh, putting solar parks on the top of buildings uh, building electrolyzers, installing them, producing hydrogen, having fueling systems or pipeline networks to, to feed the hydrogen into houses. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we have a lot of activities going on at the moment. Yeah, excellent. And and the, the overall um, feeling the industry is very, very optimistic. I, you know, th th there's certainly a lot of a lot of things happening. Um, any sort of key challenges you see or is it is it just, uh, I guess, learning through doing and, and takes time to develop these projects yeah so we have uh, some challenges on the road um of course um we we noticed that uh, especially from uh, from the governmental side a point of view there is some uncertainty about how you have handled hydrogen there's a lot of question marks around safety and mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we're trying to be a little bit too careful Although there are a lot of uh, things we are involved as an association to help uh, shape the right regulations and to make sure that the safeguarding takes place. Uh, simultaneously, we see some challenges going on with um, how the subsidies are being uh, divided. Mm -hmm. uh, we see a lot of large companies now going for the uh, for the huge subsidies to really get the hydrogen into the industry. Of course, there are also a lot of drivers to get the hydrogen decentralized produced and to also have it going into the mobility value chain. Yeah. And in terms of the the um, I mean, you have major industry obviously in 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 the Netherlands, in the sort of um, refining center of, uh, of, of Europe, we have huge ports. So across the usage cases scenarios and also steelworks and, uh, and other industry plant, um, huge potential um, for, for hydrogen in those, those big scale um, projects. Yeah. yeah. Well, we have uh, quite, we know that we cannot produce all the green hydrogen that we need for the future ourselves. So we need to start importing it from other countries. Mm -hmm. So we do have initiatives running to get hydrogen imported from outside the European Union. 
And the shape of the hydrogen is sometimes a challenge. If you take, for example, the import of ammonia, ammonia, of course, is a very nice and easy carrier for hydrogen. And simultaneously, ammonia is also on a list of a, well, it's a, it's a to toxic uh, fluid. Mm -hmm. So also there, there are some challenges uh, where we're struggling at the moment, seeing how we can import it. But yeah. definitely, you're right. There are a lot of opportunities running also with LOHC, liquid organic hydrogen carriers. Also there, we see huge potential coming around. Yeah. And in terms of the the organization you represent, um, there's a there's a lot lot, a lot of um, new members and and what what are some of the activities like um, from from the association? Yeah, I think the most important to show, uh, development we've been doing in the past year is that we created the Dutch first uh, youth organization for hydrogen. Mm. So we're the first association that have uh, their own, as we call it, young MBA. So it's for students and for young professionals to join in into the hydrogen economy. Mm -hmm. A large uh, benefit is that the energy transition is, of course, their future. So it's very important that they're involved at a very early stage. And they also get a very good picture that when they want to do something in the energy transition related to work, a professional job, etc., that they also know uh, what is there. So we're trying to build a bridge between all the companies that exist and all the students that are interested in working in the hydrogen economy. Yeah, excellent. Well, well, I'll have to send you the link for the for the book that we've printed. I think for the last two editions in World Hydrogen Congress or World Hydrogen Week, um, which is specifically there for to encourage um, youth and, and to give them some ideas and some visions. So it's called Touching the, the Hydrogen Future. So they can your your youth wing can 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 download copies free of charge from, from the internet. So yeah. I'm gonna, as I said, um, it's been fascinating to chat to you. You're going to be in um, Dusseldorf come uh, March the sixth and seventh or fifth, sixth and seventh. Um, so we look forward to to the debates and, and having your input. Thank you very much. Cheers. Take Thank care now for uh, inviting me. Cheers.